Hey, hey, hey. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you here if this is your very first time. Welcome back if you are returning. Today I have an easy all occasion fall sleigh for you today. This look you can wear any place at any time. Okay? So if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, I suggest that you keep on watching. And again, it's definitely easy. And I am glad to be back in front of the camera for you all. This has been a long time coming, y'all. I've been trying to get a makeup tutorial here on the channel for the longest. Well, it's on and popping. So keep on watching. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we got the Morphe James Times James Charles palette. This is the mini palette. I love this little palette right here. This is perfect if you are a beginner, okay? If you are a beginner in makeup, get your hands on this palette because it has everything you need. It has um, transition shades. It has some shimmers in here. It has a black in here okay it has white listen this is beginner friendly it's definitely travel friendly because it's small and this will take care of a wedding party this one palette because you have so many options okay and i am just taking that color i do believe it's called no beans and um i'm not gonna be sure what these colors are because you know i'm doing this voiceover at home okay and i did the makeup at the shop all right so i don't know what the colors are but i think this is no beans but nevertheless pick you a nice warm brown to focus it in the outer v with a nice fluffy brush to get the um the eyeshadow to spread like it's supposed to now you want to make sure you have a base on first i didn't show you all of that but i did use a um Concealer, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. And so what I'm doing here now is taking that next color and just placing that in front of that warm brown. And um, it's going to be simple, y'all. This look is going to be simple. And guess what? I'm doing that whole face on here for you too, baby. Okay. All right. So I am just packing that color on and I am blending, going to be blending in between because that's what you want to do so that you don't have any harsh lines in your eyeshadows. Now, the only time you should have a good old harsh line, baby, is if you are creating a cut crease. Okay. Which is something I have not done on the channel in a very long time. So I will bring a cut crease. Um, because the holiday season is coming up and I do want to bring some more makeup inspiration because I know you 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 dolls are gonna be dolling up, baby. Okay, because y'all got some Christmas parties to go to. Your husband Christmas party, your Christmas party, your sister Christmas party, your best friend Christmas party, because you know they ain't got nobody to take but you, honey. Okay, because you the life of the party, all right. <laughs> and so what I'm doing is taking that shimmer that I pointed at and I am just putting this underneath the brow bone. Now I have not done this in a very long time. Very long time. Years, y'all. Okay. And today I decided to do that just to add a little bit of shimmer to the look. And that's going to be it for these eyes, baby. That's it. That's it. It's over. We about to go to the skin, honey. So lashes on face is prepped i already sprayed my face with some setting spray i used um a um a um primer i'm sorry a primer that's for oily skin and now i'm taking um i went over and got me a brand new believe beauty chestnut foundation i love it i love it i was trying to use a different foundation and it just was not working for me. It, it wasn't. This right here is my jam right here, okay? And so, um, I used the uh, e.l.f. 
20, I mean, 16 hour camo concealer underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose. I placed the um, concealer stick by Black Radiance in the jaw area around the perimeter of my face for my contour. And I placed the foundation where it goes, every place else. And if you're new here, this is your first time seeing me do my makeup. I don't layer uh, my, my products. I don't put the foundation on, then put concealer on top of that, then put con contour on top of that. Listen, honey, by the time I would get finished doing all of that, number one, I wouldn't even look like myself. Oh, my God. My husband was like, oh, something got to give here now. Something got to give. <laughs> but listen, and then it felt like my face was tight. It felt like I had a lot of product on it. And I needed to come up with something that made my face and my skin feel comfortable. And also, my husband would still be able to recognize that I'm his boo. You know, I'm his boo. Yeah. Yeah, that's Melinda. And anybody else would be able to recognize me with or without makeup. Okay? Because some people, you know, the way they get it done or the way they do it, they don't even look like themselves. And I don't want to look like that, okay? So what I did was set everything. And I'm sorry, I'm showing y'all the products. I'm just trying to chit-chat and everything with y'all. And what I'm going to do is this right here, this powder I'm placing down now. It's my all-over powder to bring everything together. The first powder that I used with a sponge, a makeup sponge, which I, that was in the number 35 by Maybelline. It's a loose finishing powder. And you want to be careful with that because it's finely milled, so it'll lot to get everywhere. And um, to set in the perimeter of my head, my face, and around my jaw area and everything, I used um, the BH Cosmetics Studio Depressed Powder in 255. Now, look at this glow right here. This is called Anglola from the crayon case baby it's a lot coming in this thing okay this will last me forever look at all of that product i've had it for years y'all but you know when you are doing your makeup you tend to you're getting into makeup and it seems like in the very beginning stages of makeup you try to get your hands on everything you can find Okay, everything come out, you get it. And then you learn, listen, I'm stuck with all these products and I have nowhere to put them. But anywho, that's it. We sprayed the face down, patted it dry. And baby, look at here, look at here. Tell me what you think about this gorgeous little simple all occasion fall glam. I'm in love with it. I think it turned out phenomenal. No. Be beautiful uh-huh but listen i want to tell you thanks for stopping by today give me a big old thumbs up if you like it tell me what it is that you do like subscribe and hit the bell as well and i'm gonna catch y'all in my next video bye bye